Here's how I install slash pockets with French seams on my trousers. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you like this content. First, I gather the three pattern pieces required for this. There's the front trouser and the accompanying pocket bag and the pocket lining. This also works if you're sewing slash pockets to a skirt instead. Before we start, ensure that the slash on the front trouser is stabilized with a strip of interfacing. With right sides together, align the pocket lining with the front trouser, matching notches at the slash opening. Pin and sew at the seam line at the sewing machine. When both fabric pieces are sewn together, then turn the pocket lining on top of the seam allowance and understitch the pocket lining to the seam allowance. Sew about 1 8th of an inch from the edge. When that's done, I carefully trim off bulk at the seam allowance and grade the seam. In addition, I make small cuts close to the stitch line so that the curve of the slash opening will sit nicely when pressed. Turn the pocket lining under so that the wrong sides are facing and press the slash opening curve at the ironing station. Now I'm ready to attach the pocket bag to the pocket lining. If you don't care much for French seams, then at this point you will align the pocket bag and the pocket lining matching notches with right sides facing together. Then sew the curved seam and close the seam allowance with an overlocking stitch. However, if you desire a French seam for your pocket, then open the pocket lining, turning it away from the front trouser. Now with the wrong sides facing, place the pocket bag on top of the pocket lining and match the notches on the curve and we can sew the first stitching line within the seam allowance. For a 5 8 inch seam allowance, I like to start with a quarter inch stitch line from the raw edge. When that's done, I use a pair of pinking shears to trim as close to the stitching line as possible, being careful not to cut into the stitches. Now I'm ready to turn the pocket out so that the right sides of the pocket lining and pocket bag are facing each other. The V cuts made by the pinking shears all along the curved line help to create a smooth curve when we bring this to press it out nicely with an iron. After pressing, I like to sew a 3 8 inch away from the first stitching line in order to complete the French seam. This means that I am now sewing on the seam line at the intended 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. When that is done, then we can attach the pocket bag and pocket lining to the front trouser by basting at the side seam and at the waistline. So that's how I install slash pockets with French seams to my garments. I like it because it has a very neat finish. I hope this helps you with your sewing projects and I will see you soon with more sewing tutorials. Happy sewing!